Hi everyone, this is Ariane Lacey and Sheldon Ben with their Brother Right Standard Newscast. On Friday, October 30th, the student body was allowed to wear costumes in school. Me students decided to take the opportunity and show up with creative costumes. And got into the Halloween mood, some of them even wore their costumes to the game that night while the while they cheered on the varsity football team. On Sunday, November 1st, Brother Rice held his annual open house. Many 7th and 8th grade students attended this open house. They took a trip around the school, making stops at the newly renovated locker room, the broadcast studio, and the entire science wing. They also had a chance to talk to the coaches, students, and teachers. We hope to see them here again for the entrance exam. My co-anchor, Ariane Lacey, recently sat down with one of the leaders of Kairos 135. Christian Gutierrez to talk about the uh, retreat. I'm Christian Gutierrez and I was a student leader on Kairos 135. Kairos 135 was an amazing experience for the students that attended and some of us leaders. A uh, funny thing that happened on Kairos 135 was we were uh, playing Yahtzee in the, the meeting room in the basement and the floor was hot, it was rolling dice, it was a fun time, everyone had a good time. I actually won <laughs> the round and it lasted for about two hours. It was a good time. The freshman sophomore cross country team had a decent season this year. They took 11th at the Re Revis Invitational, 10th at the David Br Brady Invitational, and 8th at the Tinley Park Invitational. Reporter Daniel Grzuski put together a video of the team highlights. Let's check it out. Brother Rice played Providence Catholic on Friday, October 16th. Brother Rice started out slow as they led three touchdowns. They they only had one touchdown of their own by senior Julian Blaine. The score after two quarters was 24 to 10, Providence. The Crusaders came out hot the second half as Julian Blaine scored two touchdowns in the third quarter. Julian also added another touchdown in the fourth quarter. Brother Rice came out with a victory 31 to 24. Standard newscast reporter Mike McShane discussed the game with Nate Manny. Uh, I felt pretty confident. I knew that our offense was going strong in the past couple weeks. And um, I knew that our defense is going to be able to stop Richie Warfield, even though he's a great player. And their offense has always been a great team, especially coming off a state championship win last year. I thought that we kept our composure, even though we fumbled the ball like seven or eight times. I thought that we kept in, kept within ourselves and made sure that we stayed strong and trusted what our coaches were telling us. Chicago Bulls' Derrick Rose has once again returned from the injury reserve list, this time to make his presence felt. Rose had a big game of 29.7 assists versus Oklahoma City Thunder. He is rolling right now by averaging 18.7 rebounds. I strongly advise you to catch a Bulls game while Derrick Rose continues his hot streak. Thanks for watching this week's Standard Newscast, and don't forget to subscribe to our Brother Rock Chicago channel.